If you want to hear, where did you get that this holiday season? Uncommon Goods is your secret weapon. Uncommon Goods is here to make your holiday shopping stress-free by scouring the globe for the most remarkable and truly unique gifts for everyone on your list. Whether you're shopping for your secret Santa or for your entire family, Uncommon Goods knows exactly what they want. Uh, honestly, I, I, I've used Uncommon Goods. We did a Ballers Murder Mystery game party that we got from there. It was a really unique, cool game experience that we found on Uncommon Goods. And when you shop at Uncommon Goods, you're supporting artists and small independent businesses. These fine products are often made in small batches, so shop now before they sell out this holiday season. Uncommon Goods looks for products that are high quality, unique, and often handmade or made in the U.S. They have the most meaningful out-of-the-ordinary gifts anywhere, from art to jewelry, kitchen, home, and bar. Uncommon Goods has something for everyone, not to not some lackluster gift you could just find anywhere. To get 15% off your next gift, go to uncommongoods.com slash ballers. That's uncommongoods.com slash ballers for 15% off. Don't miss out on this limited time offer. Uncommon Goods, we're all out of the ordinary. What happens when three buffoons give life advice, explore unrealistic situations, and give random topics more thought than they probably deserve? It's the Spitballers Podcast with Andy, Mike, and Jason. I like this. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll take it. Oh, man. Look you in, the, should, in you, the pantheon of options. That one's... <laughs> I'll you, take it. Usually, the end is just so hard to land, and I, yep. I felt like you went strong. You, it felt like a bit of a punch. Yeah, you in the face. You didn't. Uh, you didn't hide. You didn't shy away. Well, thank you. Didn't uh, lose any volume. Didn't lose any uh, gusto. I knew maybe too much gusto. Even I, I knew I would roll the R, and then it was just what happens. Please make a sound. <laughs> just do something. Make a sound. Uh, this is the two hundred and sixty third time that we've been called buffoons in that intro. For real? And it's really starting to make an impact. We've done that many shows? That's how many shows we've done, yeah. And we are hard workers. Um, <laughs> I was just I'm, laughing. That's, my, that, that's that is what, so insulting. That's what people say when I, they listen to this podcast. Like, I just wonder. Those guys work. They work hard. So hard. <laughs> Did you hear that episode, how hard they worked? I just wondered if it was starting to make an impact on your self-esteem. Getting called a buffoon? 263 different times. I've, so, I've heard it zero times. I'd say the, I hear it sometimes, but that w on the day that you have the scat, I don't hear any of that. You just I'm, hear the voice yeah, in your I head going, going <laughs> 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 oh, don't mess up, don't mess up, don't mess up. Make mess a up. sound, <laughs> make a <Yeah>. sound. <laughs> Al Borland is here. Hey. What's up, Spielbox? Hey. Yay. Speaking of hard workers. Yeah. Yeah, he does more, way more work than we do on this show. Yeah, it's not the same quality of work that we do. He's still, but he does more quantity wise. Yeah, he's quantity lazy. over quality. Yeah, he is. He's yeah. a real quantifier. Yeah. Uh, welcome in. Well, would you rather life advice? Ooh, it's been a while since we dished out so much wisdom for we're, for folks. And we're really going to help people, as always. And then we are doing another battle royale. We are strolling through a garden center of a uh, of a store. You know what I didn't realize until preparing for this draft was that a garden center is where you want to go if you're looking for items for a battle royale. That's there it. are a lot. Yes. Yeah. I and this is the first time I've kind of I've got a little strategy going on with knowing that I'm the back to back pick situation Ooh. in this draft. Now you guys could undermine it, but when we get there, you got some combos you're trying I, to put I, together. Yeah. You know, sometimes there's those video games where like. You know, two things work mm -hmm. together to be more powerful, and I yeah, maybe you, I shouldn't have said any of that. You, that was you a forge mistake. Your web, it's I don't know what you're trying to do. Okay, good. <laughs> well, let's start here. Would you rather? DK from Patreon says, "Would you rather have a bit part in five movies per year, or play the lead in one blockbuster hit that is loved by all?" but never be mm. able to act again. Oh, man. that's It's a great question. That is a very good question. I need question. a clarifier. 
Okay. What? How do you define bit part? Am I a bit part's like a? Do I have lines? Yeah. 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 So I'm, am I like the uh, you know some movie and then they, they come into the hospital? I'm the doctor that just says a few things and you, then I walk well, out. You've got no, a because, scene or two, but that's like a cameo. To me, a bit part is five lines. Is like okay. Let me ask Jason. You're familiar with uh, Mr. Deeds, the Adam Sandler movie? I am not. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Any other questions? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, just like Adam Sandler movies frequently have a bit part where. Which one are you trying to talk about from that movie? The uh, the butler. Okay, yes, I know, I know that so, movie. Yeah, uh, uh, John Totoro. I think. Yeah, it, yeah. That so like if it, that's a bit part, I want five of those a year. Because his whole thing is it's just it's the same joke basically over and over. But it, I mean, it kills. It's a really funny joke for the movie, but it, it like he's kind of sprinkled throughout. So I didn't know if that was too John much. John Turturro. Yeah, yeah, I don't. I don't know if it's too much that he'd be called a supporting character. As opposed to like, uh, like, I think that might be too much. That's too much. Yeah, yeah. I'll say it's too much. Okay. What about in because in, he's sh when you look at the cast, he's listed uh, basically third. Okay. So then let's go, Water Boy. Okay, I've the, seen that one. The the Rob Schneider. You can do it. That's a bit part. Now is that a bit part? Or is that yeah, just a cameo? That's a bit part. He that's just a says bit part. Okay. Five, no more than about five lines of dialogue. Yeah, th this says a bit part is a role in which uh, the principal actor has no more than five lines of there dialogue. There you go. Wow. Okay. I guess All five. Right. Wow, that's incredible. Okay, so basically, you get twenty-five lines a year because you get five bit parts. You don't know. I'm doing that one. You don't know why? Uh, I'm at five red carpets a year. <laughs> I'm, uh, you know, I'm in five credits a year. Uh -huh. I'm living the life. Of an actor with very little responsibility, that's I am a very little money. It's got to be like one day of uh, shooting. Is it very little money? Yeah, five lines in five movies. I'm making. I'm making enough money. You're making. I don't know if you're making. It's enough. not your full time job. Yes, it is. Nah, eh. Five bit parts. Nope. Oh, I'm pull I'm a famous bit part actor. <laughs> okay, so you're just saying your rate for bit parts is you, you're pretty high. You're telling me uh, who's the guy from Waterboy? That you, Rob Schneider. Rob <laughs> Schneider. You're telling me that he's a famous, like he's a famous yeah, celebrity. But in this, so, okay, but as a famous celebrity, you get a bit part. You get what paid way more, right? Are yes, you, absolutely. Well, you're just saying you're going to be a famous because it's part cameo. Then yes, it is part cameo. Yes. Um, so, so what are you getting? Like, like I'm pulling 10K? home. I'm pulling home five, a uh, few hundred G's. A few hundred per few part. Hundred, what? Not per part for the five All in right. totality. I think I'm pulling home. It, it, probably three to five hundred thousand a year. I think if you have five lines, because I'm going to kill uh, it, and they're have, all going to want me. If you have five lines in a movie, I don't think you're getting ten thousand dollars. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I don't. I don't think really. You, I think you're getting. I mean, I, I don't look. Who, I don't, why are people wanting to be in movies? Oh, for the red carpet. Yeah, <laughs> for I mean, auxiliary. I, I'm not even going to be able to afford the Uber to the red carpet on your <laughs> on your salary. Yeah. So now the other side, mm -hmm. you are. Forrest Gump, or you are Ace Ventura. See, the way I'm looking at it is I need it to be like a gigantic hit in that would that would be in like the sci-fi arena or somewhere. Oh, oh you want the conference? I want to go. I want to live the Comic Con yeah. life, signing autographs and meeting people. That is that probably dress up like you. Yep, and that that is one part. For the rest of your like, if you're in a uh, uh, what's oh crap? Yeah, no, you're you're right here. You're good to go on those. That actually, I mean, if you really think about it, I know that like um, Firefly is that the name of a yeah yeah. yeah so like like the the cast from Firefly, they can go. I know it was a it was a show and then a movie, but they could just go do comic cons forever for the rest of their life and and make enough money. When you look at the movies, and I know he's made a ton and done TV shows and stuff, but like realistically, Michael J. Fox. Right. It, you're one iconic character that you're known for forever. Yeah. I mean, there's not, I mean, if you say Teen Wolf, you're not talking about the, the hit of the career. Like, it's one great one. Or Aragorn from Lord of the Rings. Yeah. If you had yeah, done that yeah, role, yeah, fantasy, fantasy I know Vigo's done other stuff, but it's like that role, if you did that and that was all you ever did. Yes. Or no. you were Gandalf and that's all you ever did, you could go to the Comic Cons forever. 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 I'm Charged switching. for your now, autograph. Now, do you... The SAG day rate is 1000 minimum, 3700 for the week. That's the minimum rate. Okay. So maybe maybe you're pulling in... I think I'm pulling in 10. more money. Wait, wait, wait. You just saw... That's the minimum. Yeah, that's the minimum. 
You know, you, yeah. What do you think that the people paying are going to want to shell out here? The maximum? Like, they're, they're, they're trying to... You're a bit part, man. No, but you stack bit parts up, and all of a sudden, your agent's going to these movies, and you're the desirable bit part actor. They're not looking at you like the bare bones, sag bottom. Okay, so... Five, Saggy bottom. Let's say five grand. <laughs> five grand. That's only 25 grand a year. Exactly no, I'm my making point. a lot more than that. <laughs> a thousand dollars a day. No, that's the SAG minimum for an extra I or something. I make the movie. That's an extra, right? It, as long as they're part of SAG. Well, well of course you would. You have to have a, I think you'd have to have a speaking role. Yeah. Um, but, right. but I was, I'm to, figuring, I'm, I'm bringing home at least 25K a movie. So, back, <laughs> you back, are not, they don't pay $25,000 for they, someone to say. Yes, they do. You they see these budgets? Four or five lines. If I, mean, I had sure, a bit if part a in Waterworld, I'd be rich. Going back to the Comic-Con, do you get, like, do you look at that with with envy, kind of the way where I'm talking about it, or is it, do you feel like that's a an unfortunate life where you- It like, would get old. Where you, I mean, if you're doing Comic-Con life and you're known for saying a phrase, or, like, you're doing that phrase Never for, give up. Yes. Never, never surrender. You're Action. doing that for no. everybody. Never give up. <laughs> never surrender. That's amazing you have that. If you- if you were that character with that name, like that's your only role, you're on the street. That's what you're called. Uh huh. Like and you're you're Marty McFly. You're not Michael J. Fox. You you're don't get privacy if you're like a, a super revered part in a in a famous movie that everybody knows. Is there one that we can think of that is like this? Well, there's like I, one one where it was a one hit wonder. And a they one never hit wonder again? lead. You know, I I the one I would no. think of like. I don't know who's the guy who plays William Riker from Star Trek. Oh, we always have to look his name. I up. never know. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know what you'd call him if you saw him on the street? Riker. <laughs> yeah. You'd be like number one. It's Jonathan Frakes. Jonathan yeah, Frakes. That's it. So you never like you see that person. He never did anything. Now that was a TV show, I know, but it's like put it in the same scope. Never happened. Well, what <laughs> yeah. about what about if you were Worf? Because do, oh, do you, people recognize gotta... him on the street? Uh, yeah, because he dresses up every day <laughs> to make sure people know I'm the Klingon that you know. Question, when you are that character, if you're Worf, and you go, are you signing Worf? Yes, of course you Do you, you sign are. Oh, Riker? No. no, you sign you, your name, you right? Sign you your sign what name. people ask you to sign. But then you probably have to put Worf in the quotes because <laughs> they don't know. So uh, so this is <laughs> the Worf. I, I think what a I'm name. going. I know Worf. What a name. Now I'm saying it so many times. <laughs> Worf. It's kind of like the sound a dog makes <laughs> when it's going to vomit. <laughs> Worf. <laughs> Get over come here, Worf. Come here, Worf. Um, right, go on. I think I'm going with the five movies per year. You want to keep it? At $1,000 each. Because, yeah, look, I'm not doing this for the money. I'm doing this for the love of the game. I Okay. Love it is. It is fun to to be on set to and and five movies a year. That means you're with different casts. Maybe sometimes the same. Maybe different different movies, different roles. You know, you play that one iconic role. I think you even if you've got that Comic Con life, I I think you're going to really get annoyed by it. Just you know, it's like it's the, possible. Yeah, I, I don't think you're going to enjoy. It's the same thing over and over and over. And it might be really cool year one, year I, ten. You're, yeah, you're just gonna be like this. Well, you don't have to do them every year. Well, sure, but I'm just saying. Like, I've the, got three good examples now. Oh, okay, all right. All right. Yes. Uh, Ralph Macchio was the Karate Kid, oh, and, yeah. and nothing and nothing else. Mark Hamill, I know it's a bunch of movies, but if you think about yeah, it, yeah, yeah, that was the one. He's that's... Luke Skywalker, and that's it. He's never done anything. Well, he's he's also the Joker. He's the Joker's voice in a cartoon. That's yeah, not... but Mike, but... Mike, stop. No, but I'm, but I'm You're saying known for one. He's that's not a feature film. But I'm saying in that, like that was a part that you could Comic Con, like if he was only the Joker and Macaulay Culkin. Ooh, okay. Macaulay Culkin was a hundred percent a one hit wonder. Now you, you good kid or whatever. Oh, the good son, the good son. Oh gosh, yeah. What I a mean, movie. <laughs> I don't know. It, now, if I was Macaulay Culkin, that's the nightmare, because that was childhood actor one hit yeah. wonder, and the rest of your life you're trying to just be anything but the oh, Home Alone kid, like uh, Sixth Sense kid. Uh, oh, Haley yeah, yeah, Joel yeah. Joel Osmond. 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 Yeah. Yep. He's done some other. Yeah, of course they continue yeah. being an actor, but, but would you, I'd rather be Mark Hamill than I would do five bit parts a year. 
b- yes. because that was so high of a high esteem. Well, that that's the point of this. That is question, the point, is though, right? Like, it is a blockbuster hit, loved by all, and you're the lead. So yeah, this is that's Mark. You're you're, yeah. you're Mark yeah, yeah. Hamill. You are. Uh, yeah, I'm taking that. Okay, I'm taking. That. I'm I'm shocked at myself that I'm going to take the five movies, but I I I really want the experience <laughs> of of being on set. I have, I, I agree with that. That would be fun. I just thought, like, Mike's saying you can do the Comic-Con. You're signing autographs, right? Mm-hmm. When you are somebody like like that, your autograph memorabilia is worth money, right? Oh, yeah. So then, sort like, of, yeah. you can just sign your own stuff and sell your own stuff? Yes, you can. Like, I've... Pete Rose can just, like, as a baseball player, you just sign your own stuff and sell your own stuff. He, he's done that for... 40 years, right? Yeah, for, forever. Can. But they... It's so weird if you have your own autograph is worth money. You could, but it's... You get it's it's the guaranteed money because I'm I'm sure they're gonna pay you just to show up an appearance fee and then you set your like I've heard, um, uh, Shatner's price for like just an autograph is like you know over a hundred. Would you be that guy, Jay? Would you be the guy that like no free autographs? No, I would I would sign free autographs. I that that wouldn't bother me at all. I would. Now I would, you have a very long. Uh, it takes you a while to sign an autograph. That's been a real burden. It is because it's. <laughs> I was going to point out to you, Andy, as you're like you realize that you you know if you could sell your own autograph, you could sign your own stuff and sell. You know we do that. <laughs> <laughs> we we literally sell our autographs, our yeah. footballs, and your book. I guess I meant the demand. The yeah. demand for your autograph, like Michael Jordan, right? Like yeah. Michael Jordan's autograph on something is valuable. Yeah, now but, it gets less valuable if there's millions of them. That's why like Pete Rose is, is also, but to get going to that, down in value. To get to but, that level of a Michael Jordan, that's not one movie. It's one role though. Yeah. Cuz Mark Hamill signing I mean if you have Luke Skywalker signing your Star Wars stuff. Mark Hamill's not the Michael Jordan level though. He's the Michael Jordan of the Star Wars world. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's Michael Jordan <laughs> on Tatooine. Okay. <laughs> All right, would you rather Wait, have the, what, what was your answer, Mike? Yeah, oh man. That's a good question. I I think I'm taking the bit parts. All I right. live that life. Get to do it five times a year. That sounds fun. That's where I started. I switched over. I switched over when Jason told me that they don't pay you. Um, <laughs> would you rather have the best looking lawn on your block year round or have the best <laughs> holiday displays mm. on the block for Halloween and Christmas? I could care less about my lawn. Oh, okay. That's the one I'm taking. Well, yeah, but you're you're the old man. Dwarf, <laughs> <laughs> dwarf, goodness, swallow a frog? Much? <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say from now on. Whenever wharf, <laughs> whenever I've got a you know, frog in I my got throat, got a wharf in my throat. Oh, <laughs> <I got a laughs> wharf. wharf. Uh, Continue. I. It's easily the best looking lawn. I struggle trying to put myself in the position of these people that they go all out. We have we have one house on our street for the lawn or for the holiday. For the holiday, we have we have a a house on our street that goes all out for Halloween, for Christmas. It's awesome. I mean, people. Oh, I've been there. People I'm- gather. It's it's the fully synced audio light show. But then, think about living in that house. Like, there's always people gathered outside your house, tuning stand- into the radio station, standing around watching your. That's fine. Why, how, I don't know, I man. I don't even think you'd know. You wouldn't care. It's not like your blinds are up and your lights are on inside and you're your blinds better not in your be undies. Up. Man, for once, there should be one of those houses and the guy's just dancing in front of the window. Just, <laughs> he just, the, once the He's eyes on part him. of the display. Yeah. I mean, that I would, there would I be a lot of that it. attention. So you don't want the attention. You're not right. talking about the work to do it. Correct. <clears throat> I'm saying, but people just gathered out. Cars always outside my house the entire time. Christmas I would love period. the. I genuinely, I'd love the landscape and the lawn thing. I think that would be amazing if it just looked pristine and per. Like you had a full time yeah. gardener. Got to look into that. I, I, <laughs> like, <laughs> When when I think of my front yard, if it was desert landscaping with gravel, you wouldn't care. I wouldn't care at all. Uh, oh man, yeah, you're just not really. really. Yeah, you got to have a nice front yard. Yeah. I man, I I just I think uh, when I drive. Uh, when I drive down the street, mm-hmm. any street, any neighborhood, I don't remember ever once in my life being like, "Whoa, well, that lawn." The part of that is whoa. Part of that is Arizona. Okay, so, sure, that's where we live. Where when you like, we have I have a, a different house in my neighborhood, and they're 
they have they have actual grass in the front of their house. Oh, looks good. And you every time you see that house, you're like, whoa. Yeah. That house looks great. It's so sharp. <clears throat> but for me, I have driven, you know, the the holiday seasons come around and mm -hmm. you go driving with your hot cocoa in the car and yeah. look at light displays and sometimes I am blown away. I'm like, whoa. You ever been to one that amazing. had like a totally, like they have a great light display, but the yard is a, like a horrible mess? <laughs> like there's I, weeds everywhere? I don't think so. I think those come hand in hand. Yeah. Those people take care of their house. I would agree with that. But you're going the I'm Halloween going ho display. Hol holidays, yeah. Okay. And I, look, I can't get up for Halloween on the display stuff. I know people do it. They spend money. Those gigantic, super tall things are now all the rage. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you get those home. They must be put together. Yeah, we've tried. And to, how do you, you need where a do ladder? You store these things. You need a gigantic ladder to get to the top of them. I built a giant um, Christmas tree once, and I was like, the hardest part was getting high enough <laughs> to but put the top on. My question is, where do these? How do people have so much storage? We literally just went to a, a Halloween display that was like this, and it it looked amazing. But I asked the guy, I said, "Where do you store this?" And he said he had three storage units. That yeah, he, that he pays yeah. For, yeah, yeah, pays yearly to store his. That makes what? sense. You would have to. A psychopath. That is. That's not worth it. Yeah, but you're the house. Like when we grew up, there was one house around the block that did Halloween, and I definitely looked at that house with incredible fondness. I yeah. was like, they care. But what did it bring? Them? What did it cost? <laughs> I mean, Every monthly fees year round. Uh, Mike, your final answer? The, the lawn. lawn. Yeah. Uh, LA from page. Do we got time for one more? Or do you want to move on? Let's do one more. All right. Uh, do you have a preference? Nope. LA from Patreon. Would you rather have the ability to always remember people's names and faces or remember every book, movie, or show you ever consumed in complete detail? Oh, man. I struggle with both of these. I, I, I do too. I would really like both of these options. The first one is actually there's a problem for me. I would love to remember people's names and faces, but that's not as much of my problem as anything going on in their lives. <laughs> oh, I yeah. feel like it's almost worse. You set yourself up if you're just like, I remember you instantly, but then I don't remember anything about what's going on. Or you're, like, I, I struggle with like these Friends that I have that I don't see a lot, and they all have kids. I don't remember the kids' aids. A a <laughs> age. Age. Kids, age. Kids, kids' age. Age. Uh -huh. Age. How old they are. Mm -hmm. You know, when they were born. Wharf. <laughs> I can't, what, a, what a good one to mess up, right? <laughs> wow. Uh, uh, I don't remember their how kids. How old they are. Ages, genders, or or any of that so it's like i feel bad because i want to be like how's little whatever the kid's name is that's, doing yeah. in whatever grade they're in but that's i mean that's easy how's how's that how's the little rascal well I, yes i can ask the question and a lot of the times i do that how's, i'm like how's champ doing but the problem is you don't even remember if they're a boy or a girl and you're like how, how's the little guy or how's the little one doing perfect you, you've just covered you your, did solve it right yeah. there it's not yeah. a problem yeah. and then they're like which one we have twins who are you talking about? Oh, the the one you had, that the I older saw one. last time. The older one. So the other one is the movie show, all that stuff. I I forget that stuff so quick, and it, it actually makes me mad. Yeah, me me too. I'm always jealous of Mike being able to remember every reference, every line of anything he's read or seen. You've got a mind like a steel trap. And I hate that I don't get to remember like you know I, we'll, I'll, we'll be watching a, a show and if it's one of those you know comes out every week thing i feel like i sit down to watch the show and i'm like what where are we i, I don't remember what's going on in this show but i'm still happy i'm still happy with watching that you next get to rewatch things i get to rewatch them <laughs> i i still love movies books uh shows so i don't think it has a negative effect on me the when you come into contact with someone that you're supposed to know and you know you're supposed to know this mm -hmm. person mm -hmm. and i don't remember their name yep and i don't remember their face that affects me that makes me feel awful um and so i i certainly am going to take the ability to remember people's names and faces over being able to rewatch movies. You have a, a great memory, Mike. You remember movies, plots, books, mm -hmm. 
things I, video games bo- books i don't okay really yeah like i was I, gonna ask about the names like so tell me books you so, don't yeah do, do names and faces are they part of it i i can focus uh, as if i remind myself to like you know when you're meeting someone doing the the repetition of their name using their name intentionally i can remember a name but often i just i'm like i don't care <laughs> so unfortunately at that moment and then it usually comes back to bite you in the butt See, that's but the, that's the problem with the names and the faces that yeah. is the real problem yeah. is that it, it, if you the don't truth is you don't care the truth is you don't it is a that's exactly yes. right and when people don't i'm, I'm rem- sorry i didn't i don't remember your name i just didn't care <laughs> that's the truth <laughs> it's the truth and sometimes that's excusable to a degree right like uh-huh we have yeah they maybe, didn't care either it's kind of one of those things where we have a higher demand on others than we do on ourselves it's like you should all remember what's going on in my life but then forgive me if I forget what's going on in your life. But it does equate to a lot of people. It would, it would translate to a, I don't care about you. Yeah, and the worst part, and this is probably more of a me problem, but it's like on on number four or five, where it's like, oh, man, I don't remember you again. Oh, if the, you yeah, if you, if you strike out? Yeah, it's like everyone can forgive it at, at first. Like, oh, yeah, we, yeah, we yeah, only yeah. met one time. I wouldn't expect you to remember me. But it's like, dude. We've been yeah. We've been getting lunch yeah. together every day for a week. You uh, gotta remember my name. Is the reaction in those situations? Do you let it go real quick, or are you the over explainer of why you might have forgot something? Oh, I I let it go and clam up. Yeah, you just say you don't shoot. you don't go sorry. Yeah, you don't. It just because it, it's it it's really you don't not go a big into deal. you don't go into a oh that's right yeah I, I, no. that's right I just go no, shoot. Sorry. I do know this stuff about you. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, no, I just go. I just, Worf. I don't care about hey, Worf. you. Hey, Wharf. Today's show is brought to you by our friends at Indochino. No matter what's in your closet, Indochino makes it easy to keep your wardrobe fresh with looks made just for you from suits and shirts to outerwear and more. And for a limited time, you can shop Indochino's best prices of the year during their Black Friday event. Don't wait. Book your appointment now with sales starting in-store and online November 6th. I have done the in-store experience from Indochino, and it is fantastic. You show up. It's all professional. You get measured real quick. You get to customize a suit that fits like a glove, and it's exactly what you want because you get to customize so many different things. And check this out. Indochino's Black Friday event, the best prices of the year. Made for you suits start at just $349 in premium shirts Start at just 49. Get more looks for less with Indochino's unbelievable bundles. Two suits starting at 749 and five shirts at 249. Give yourself countless customizable options with new styles and fabrics added throughout the sale. Refresh your wardrobe with the best prices of the year during Indochino's Black Friday event. Secure your appointment now with sales starting in store and online November 6th at Indochino.com. I N D O C H I N O.com spitballers to the rescue we're going to do something different on this uh edition of life advice we're going to have al borland read these out because i feel like we are kind of like the uh the counselors the, the yes. psychiatrists yeah, I guess. yeah 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 and i just feel like i want al to choose these and kind of submit them to us uh, almost like a like this is like dear ab uh, yeah exactly like one of those letters so al do you mind doing that for us Perfect. Sounds good. All right. This one comes in from Jennifer. I'm a bottom up toothpaste squeezer mm-hmm. and my husband, Tom, is a free for all squisher. Oh, Our bathroom sink has become a modern art exhibit of toothpaste residue. How can I nudge him to- towards a more orderly squeeze or do I have to start buying toothpaste in pairs? <laughs> so oh, any strong feelings on this? Is there any big time strong feelings? As strong as like toilet paper over the top feelings? Not that strong, but it is a tier below that. Because I, I don't. And, and the funny thing is, is I, I guess I have to imagine for for you to have strong feelings, you have to be on the bottom up squeezer. Yeah, there's there's you can't have strong feelings of being like doing whatever you want with it. <laughs> right, I'm just squeezing the don't middle. Don't tell me how to live. <laughs> so do you? Are you a? I I really have questions about this. Because I am not you. I become you when the tube gets to a level. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm a free-for-all guy for the first three quarters of a tube. Because why do I have to worry about rolling it up? I can get that. I see that. 
Well, so are you a I first beginning squeeze? You're like getting prepped to roll the bottom. I never roll the bottom, but I squeeze from the bottom up. So every time, every time, without interesting. a doubt. Interesting. Yeah, because it, the toothpaste looks so much nicer. Now you seem like the kind of guy that probably also then doesn't forget to put the cap on. My goodness, there is nothing more. Infer- I knew it. That, I knew it. I knew it. That is toilet paper level. That's worse. Annoyance. It's, That's uh, worse. It ruins it, uh, the whole bottle. It crusts up, and you either end up in a like good ten minute clean situation, or it, you know, it just ruins it. Yeah, I don't want to squeeze toothpaste that I'm going to put in my mouth out touching the the gooped up gunked. Hardened, yeah, because it becomes a smaller and hole. And this little tiny squirt of <laughs> toothpaste that's covered in that I'm gonna, yeah, Oh, absolutely. It's covered in nasty. Now, let me put that in my mouth to clean it. Give me a break. Now, I don't think this is a, something that you're going to be able to change about your husband. No, well, well, I, I do have I have some advice. Okay. Uh, but first off, the the squeezing of, of the toothpaste and the residue, That's those are two different problems. That's someone yes. not washing up afterwards. Um the my wife is type a definitely squeeze from the bottom i have gotten there uh because i, I used due to, to being beckoned to do that uh, no just just i grew up maturing i grew just up being, yeah. being a grown-up <laughs> but, she never complained no oh, okay. no we, we didn't have right. a problem but later on in life uh sh- we got these it like a like a clamp for your toothpaste, mm-hmm. and they work. Yeah, like because you as soon I've as seen the clamp. As soon as it starts deflating towards the end, you just put the clamp up, and that's what you start squeezing up. You can get all that toothpaste. I out. haven't been able to support big clamp. I I've been. I did. Do they actually work? Are I mean, they metal? No, it's just a little plastic thing. But it it's is it's almost more of a reminder of squeeze from the bottom. Go from the bottom. Yeah, I think that could help in this situation yeah. for Jennifer. Um, I, I haven't gotten the clamp because I, you know, I can do it with my hand. It's you're self accountable. You're self accountable. You have never, a built in clamp, right? I've never had a problem getting toothpaste out of a container unless someone leaves the lid off. The, I think there's a, an answer though. The most infuriating part since we just talked about, it. so we have, I understand for some reason it's impossible to put the the, to find that cap and screw it back on the toothpaste. Right. So for years, I have spent more money on the the nicer fancy Crest tubes. Is all I'll buy because the the it's the flip top. It's got the hinge. It's got the hinge. Oh, yeah, you can't lose that's, this thing. That's the key. You can't lose it. You can't. Uh, you know, it's just you don't even, you don't need two hands to put it on. What if you lose it? Like you don't get that one. What if you lose the top? Is, oh, are you done? Yeah, I'm throwing. Or that Or are tube you trying away. to create a different top? No, I'm throwing that tube away. That tube's gonna be garbage if you. <laughs> or do you use like it. a lot? Because you're like it's in the middle of crusting you know, like up saran wrap or something. <laughs> no, I'm, I, it, it, toothpaste is not that expensive. Where I've got to create a MacGyver situation to keep the rest of that toothpaste right. fresh. What? A, okay, but, go ahead. My, but my 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 passion here is because I shared for years. I bought the flip top. They still can't close. Correct. They still can't yeah. close the cap. Yeah. It's built in. It's one-handed. You can do it so easy. And to not do it ruins and nastifies the toothpaste. I I can't you get need, my family to do this. I you can't. need to buy the dispenser. <laughs> oh, I've tried that. Yep. The one where you put the, the thing underneath. What, it gives and it, you and like it a gives single you serve? Some? Yeah, those yeah, things. Yeah, the single serve. Those things break. Too me. cheap. Yeah. Anyways, um, the, my answer for Jennifer, because I have lived a lot of this life, I got middle squeezers. I, I just got monsters. Uh, and my children, we, we kind of all, uh, our toothbrushes are in the same area, so they use the, the toothpaste in the same room. I have just purchased more toothpaste. I hide my toothpaste yeah. Yeah. in mm. my drawer, and it is always perfect. Now, that was the solution I came up with. There's nothing wrong with that. You're going to use the same amount of toothpaste in your family, no matter whether you have two or one. You just use it half as fast. Absolutely, it's it's the one area in my life where I'm like always stocked. I've got extra tubes. Under I didn't the know sink. you were this serious about toothpaste. I didn't pretty, either. Because because to me, when you get that hard toothpaste, it is disgusting. Mm. I it's so nasty to me. Okay, all right. Uh, let's do one more before we uh, get into drafts. All right. 
we'll see if Jason is as passionate about bread as he is toothpaste. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, baby. Oliver, my significant other insists on spinning the bread bag and tucking the end under, claiming that it's quicker. I'm all for using the twist tie as I believe it keeps the bread fresher. Our kitchen encounters have now became, become a twist versus tuck standoff. <laughs> Please settle this for us. Oliver. I, I got, I've got opinions here, too. Oh, yeah. 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 Is your opinion that Oliver's an idiot? Which side is Oliver on? He uses the twist tie. Yeah, I mean, there's it, you're not doing any more benefit twist tying than you are tucking. Exactly right. There's no air, there's, extra air getting in. The twist tie is not sealing all the air. The twist tie is not some special scientific invention that is made to keep air out. It's just a <laughs> little... Yeah, you can't uh, build a submarine and then, oh, it's got to put a couple twist ties on here. No, the this air is sealed. It, arguably... The twist tie gives you an excuse to twist it less. Yes. Because you quickly get the tie on there. Whereas when you don't use a twist tie, I twist it like like a lot. Yeah, and what? then you tuck it on. And under then I do a tuck. Yeah. There's not just the twist tie though. There's also the uh the, the claw. Where it's they the, have Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, what where it's it's not the twist, it's just it's the one plastic piece. Yes. And you then you have to twist up the bread in a certain Look, way just to make sure that it gets and then it, it falls off all the time. You wanna get wild, go get a bread box. A, a sealed bread box if you wanna Prevent yeah, every bit go. of oxygen, but there is one weakness to the twist and tuck. Do we know what this is? I would imagine it's that it could come untucked. It's when the loaf gets small because the weight of the loaf on the tuck is significant to keeping the tuck oh, you, secure. You, you, I've got to do like a full you, wrap. When you're done with, oh, you wrap. Yeah, you after twist, it's you After twist, you're down to three or four pieces. You, you twist, you tuck, and you yeah. wrap it over. I, twist, tuck, and wrap. I use I used the twisty tie. While the loaf is big, because I feel like I'm not getting enough mm, enough okay. closure. But you take just two pieces out, you got to use yeah, the twist yeah, tie. We'll, I we'll guess that we'll stay in the twist. But that after, makes sense because you don't have I've, enough room. Exactly. After I've removed about a quarter of the loaf, then that thing's that thing's going in the garbage. I don't have time for that. And, There's got to be companies that are just producing the twist tie thing. Oh, for sure. Or, or just the little the, the plastic piece, uh, uh, the bill, claw. Billions sold. Um, <laughs> they don't want you to also, talk. If Oliver, may, maybe you feel like you need something fancier. Let me give you a, an upgrade on the twist and tuck. Okay. Okay. If you want it to look nicer and not feel like it can just come undone, I don't know if either of you have done this or experienced this. Like a chip clip? No, no. It's the twist and roll. What you do is you twist the 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 uh -huh. the excess of the bag up, okay. and then you're gonna fold the the excess. Back around. Over. Yeah, that's how I do it. Okay, so yeah, yeah so you, that's not a twist to tuck. The twist to tuck is like twist, and then you lay the bread on the <laughs> excess. Oh, I see what you're saying. But the twist no, and no, roll. No, no, I, I do. I fold it over. Oh, yeah. you do the roll. That's yeah, yeah nice. I'm, a, I'm a twist and tuck, but yeah, there's no need for this little clip. No, I mean, you could, you were human beings. We figured out how to prevent more air getting in there. I also, there, I have a 100% success rate of losing the twist tie initially. Oh, like, for sure. I take it off. I you don't know. You can what find I, it. I know where it is. No, no. I mean, it's I, next to all the caps to the <laughs> toothpaste. I eventually find it, but I'm saying it's never the first place where. Yeah. Like, I put the twist tie here. No, it's. No, it's somehow it's on the kitchen island, and I don't know how it got I think there. it's a Toy Story situation. <laughs> like, when you're not looking at that twist <laughs> they tie, they walk like, off. <laughs> all right, one more, Al. All right, let's do it. This one comes in from Reggie. He says, in our house, I insist on writing a grocery list before hitting the store. My wife feels that it is unnecessary, preferring to wing it, which usually results in forgotten essentials and impulse buys. Please tell my wife <laughs> she is wrong. Well, listen, I mean, I, I can say, Reggie, your wife is wrong, but this is your life. Because <laughs> I am, in fact, this is how I roll. My, my now, which wife, one are you? You're the I no list. Get I oh my gosh, dude. A my wife is again type A. Always has a grocery list. Always and wants me to use it. But here's the problem: the grocery list is not. It's set up as you're thinking of items. Mm -hmm. It is not set up to the layout of the grocery store. So now I go and I'm checking off like the thirtieth item. And then I go to the next aisle, and it's, oh, it's the second one. And that now I'm at the 52nd item, and I'm spending all my time here. At, I'm wasting just crazy yeah, how, amounts how of time you, going through the list. How do you get all the stuff she wants? I eyeball it. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, when you get back and you've got half the items from the list, yeah. 
She can't be happy with you. No, but you know what? I was at the grocery store. Wait, is this one of those do it bad so she always does the shopping? No, it, I, I, I end up doing it or we do the, the, uh, the pickup. But I'm the one who goes and does it. And it's just, look, if I'm going to go, you live with my process and you live with my results. There is no, I'm not go using ahead, a list I, ever. I love and adore a grocery list. Oh, man. What? It just... Yeah, it fulfills me. Who is me. this Jason? <laughs> I know. Wait, do you get satisfaction checking it off? Oh, yeah. Checking it off and making sure that I got everything and- Item number one, uh, toothpaste. My- Item number two, toothpaste. <laughs> more importantly, <laughs> making sure that it's not- that, Like, if I wing it, and this is the problem that, that, that uh, Reggie here brought up. When I wing it, I buy so much more stuff. That's 100% the truth. I, because I'm looking- but I like I, I like that. I walked through. I like some surprises. Yeah. So like, my wife is a winger. She, yeah. Uh, and and if if she doesn't have a list, she's coming home with two two grocery carts, <laughs> and it's stuff that is just so delicious and good and bad and awful. So you are a, be in the house. you're a full lister. You're a no lister, Mike. Right. I'm actually right in between where I think I just want a couple of the core important things that I'm I'm potentially going to forget. I write down. And then the rest of it, I'm like, I, I, I kind of know we probably should get, in my opinion, this is what I always tell my wife. I'm like, if you get a little bit more of something that you don't know for sure that we have, we'll be fine. If you don't get it, we might be out of it. <laughs> so I always want to have a little bit extra. Like, you, you're not sure we have milk? Maybe just get get a little bit more milk. Yeah, I get that. And then we'll we'll drink it. I promise. I'll drink it. <laughs> I'll eat extras <laughs> if you get it. So- very interesting. Yeah, Al, out of curiosity, are you a lister? I, I'm, <clears throat> excuse me, kind of in your camp. I, Worf! <laughs> Worf! Worf! Thank you, Worf. I uh, I like to show up with a list, but I love to impulse buy as well, so I'm a hybrid. Yeah, don't, don't take the impulse buying away. That Look, we act like, oh, we're being suckers to the marketing. Yeah, and it's fun. It's delicious. If I'm a sucker to the marketing, what? it's a delicious. Now, I would be the lowest per hour Instacart employee that they've ever hired because finding things in a store and doing any of that competently, I might be the worst on the planet. Mm. To Mike's point yeah. of like the list, is it actually is stressful because I'm going to bounce all over the store. I'm going to go in order of the list. I'm, I'm going to ask the employee 52 times where stuff is. And I can't find stuff in stores. I just can't. And I guess, I guess you memorize it eventually, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. That's my problem. I go to different stores too often. Oh, you got You got to pick one. You got to find then you your know home base. That's the problem. And it's not. I even, don't have a home base. And it's not even like we. Uh, I'm. I, I shop at Fry's. We have. Uh, that's kind of one of our chains here. But you have to go to the same one. Mm-hmm. Oh because yeah, for sure. Fry, uh, fries to fries. They're laid out differently. I don't know what we're doing here. Some just, of them are real. Just lay them out all the same. Yeah, and there, I there, need to know where I'm going. There's a war that can go on. Like in in my household, there is there is a war. Um, we live on a corner where where one corner is fries, and then Kitty Corner is an Albertsons. Yep, mm. and I got used to Albertsons. I just yeah. that's where I got, and it's a little, a little closer for you. You but, don't have to cross the whole right. intersection. Yeah, but it's a my nicer. wife loves the fries. Mm. That's what she likes, and so it's really become a situation where I hate that fries. I hate it now. Oh, and because Al- it represents and Albertsons <laughs> is the right place to go. You know what I mean? It's like that's why I know where the yogurt is there. I don't know where the yogurt. So you- does she say go to Fries and grab this? Sometimes. Oh, she wants me to go to Fries, hmm. which is so foolish. Do you ever classic marital dispute? Have you ever done all your shopping at Albertsons or or was did you say? Yeah, Albertsons? he's yeah, the Albertsons, Albertsons guy. But then just put all the stuff into Fries <laughs> bags. No, I don't want to support that. I'm i i I would do the opposite. If I went to Fry's and, <laughs> and bought something, I wouldn't want her to know I gave in. Okay. All right, let's draft. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. This time of year, it can be a lot, and it's natural to feel some sadness or anxiety about it. But adding something new and positive to your life can counteract some of those feelings. Therapy can be a bright spot amid all of the stress and change, something to look forward to, to make you feel grounded, and to give you the tools to manage everything going on. I am a huge supporter of talk therapy. I've utilized it throughout my life, my family, my wife, my children. We've all used talk therapy and had 
uh, like a really successful uh, experience with it. It really helped us to talk to a professional about things. If you're thinking about starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Find your bright spot this season with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash ballers today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash ballers. The Spitballers Draft. All right, Mike, you have the first pick in our Garden Center Battle Royale. We've all been in those garden centers. I actually miss them. Some of the stores around here, like Target used to have a garden center. The garden, but I feel like the garden center is always outside. It, yeah. it, it's mostly yeah. outside. Yeah, the, and then it, you're yeah. just like, I can't go out there. No, that's it's too what, hot. Target used to have an outdoor garden they center. They did. Oh, for years. It was, the, it was my sneaky way to get in and out of the Target with no line. Yeah, smart. You'd go in there, and then you'd bring your normal goods out to the garden center and check out there, even if you didn't buy garden oh. center stuff. Real sneaky. And you can do that at Walmart right now. Walmart has a garden center. Much l- lower lines. You, because you always and you feel, park by the garden center, yep, which no one parks by. Absolutely. You get closer parking, and it works. But it, the reason it works is because you feel like you're not allowed yeah. to buy. Yeah. Like You can't check out milk at the, at the right. garden center, but you can. Should you sneak like one garden item in? I like, usually do, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm like, I needed, to, I needed uh, this. this. Another shovel, That's sir. That's why I'm here. <laughs> All right, Mike, you get the first pick. Okay. We, and again, we are battling. We are uh, We're in a full... Yeah, war. We're, we're in a war. We're trying to kill each other. Yeah. So I have learned from my esteemed colleague the the value of a spear type of a weapon. That's oh, the most powerful weapon. It's just, that's what I've heard, especially when you're fighting boars. But I am going to take, I don't know if I have to specify what kind, but I'm just like a, a tree pruner. A tree oh, pruner, which yeah. is, it's essentially a stick. And then there is a big blade yeah, on the a, end of it's it. It's a saw. It's a spear. It's a saw on the end of a giant pole. That's great. That's it some- is. It's good. There, I will say this. I've bought a few of those in my day. And sometimes they a little bolt on the end. Al might know that it gets a little loose. And then the blade just bends over itself. So you might just have a stick after a little while. I Well, that that's still useful for yeah, me. No, but that's also, good. Also, I mean, I'm not, I'm not trying to take care of my foilage with this i'm you're not severing our arms slowly with a saw no this this is a this is a stab from distance type of all right tree pruner all right i like that uh i like the distance distance is always going to be important in these battles but you start with power you start with the ability to just mow you down (laughs) i'm taking a chainsaw i mean how is that not the number one chainsaws no, in the there's garden? not. There's no chainsaws what? in the garden center. There's no chainsaws no. in the garden center. It no. is on. It is on the Home Depot's garden yeah, center. Yeah, I mean, then you're then you're just bridging this gap. I mean, Al can make the decision. I took that off my list on purpose. Okay, Al, what what's the ruling here? I mean, I never saw a chainsaw in a, at a at a garden center at Walmart. Yeah, there's chainsaw type things that I think are you could easily take. I knew you were going to do this. <laughs> I knew I knew it 100. percent it, if you want it, you can me, have it. We're going to overrule it. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Denied. All right. Well, let get ready to keep overruling. <laughs> All right. I'll take a broadsword. <laughs> you? What do you mean? There's no broadsword. I'll follow that with a machine gun. Uh, um. Okay. <laughs> I. This is where I've seen them sold. Okay. But if you want to overrule it because it's too powerful, that's fine. <laughs> I would take if allowed. A pressure washer. Is okay. that in a garden center? Unfortunately, I wish I had given you the chainsaw. Yeah, because you That's, wanted the pressure washer? It was part of my magical combo. Oh, oh. good. This is what you get. Oof. That but, bit you in the butt. Yeah. The the pressure yeah. washer, that thing is, Um, I mean, you can really hurt you someone can with push, that. You can yes. push enemies back with it, even if it's not pain. Yeah. Like, you keep them back. I'm not running up to you with a pressure washer on yeah 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 I, and i'm going full like that that tiny little bead I'm, oh you're you know like trying I mean? to bore a hole through oh us? absolutely i'm yeah. cutting you with this water get someone in the face with that who i mean i feel like then i need a shield for that pressure washer yeah you're gonna want to get that metal guard i'm devastated because i had a whole plan i was gonna combine that pressure washer plan is in shambles i mean i was combining it with some serious Hardcore chemicals. Yeah. I was going to put the pesticides in it, and that was going to be my start. Now i got to start all over. Mm, good. 
thanks for overruling my chainsaw owl. It was you a fair overrule, though. Yeah, I it mean, was. it was. Uh, honestly, it was at the bottom of my list because I thought it's probably not. It was on the fly. edge. <laughs> but then I was like, of I'm just going to take it. It went first. to the top <laughs> real quick. We have done a hardware store battle royale. That's where I, it gets a little. That's where it's tough. And yeah. uh, and Al, you're the, you get to be the official, overruler of these things. I'm just gonna look. You both have some significantly troubling items for my battle, Mike. You got the tree pruner. Yeah. I'm just going to have to take some brute force here, and I'm just going to take a shovel. Oh, mm -hmm. it's a great. It's mm -hmm. on my list, yeah. And, and we're not talking like a little hand shovel, to be clear. Just a normal shovel. Not, not, a, not, not the flat snow? top. Not a, not a snow shovel? This is the regular? No, because a snow shovel, I get it. I know that like in Home Alone is yeah. very useful. Oh, he takes them out. It's just not as long range. Like a snow shovel. Okay. A sh <laughs> <laughs> Worf. Worf. <laughs> snow. So I'm going to take a just a, a standard shovel. All right. For my second pick... I'm going to take a bag of river rock. Mm. Oh, I, I thought okay. about this late. It was at the bottom of my All list, right. but I actually yeah, think yeah, yeah. at this point, look, I've got a giant bag of river rock. Those are the kind of stones you can skip. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So I'm, I'm hurt. I could throw them at you. Yep. So that's range. That's, so I'm going to go with that. That's good. That's good. I, you know, my, my next thing on the top of my list is very, very similar. Um, I won't be able to throw it as far, but I'm going to hurt you a lot more. I'm taking a pallet of pavers. Okay, you so know, just bricks. I, dude, yeah, you're going to get so tired throwing those at us. <laughs> throwing brick, yeah, I'm, yeah, bricks maybe is, is no, more visual. Pavers. Yeah, pavers, I mean, they're just like, they're brick size, uh -huh. but they're a little fancy. You know what I mean? They just look a little nicer when they hit you. Interesting. Like but that octagon was, shape. A pallet of pavers. We're got, we got to come to you in that way. That's a set, more of a defensive. Yeah. Because well, you're not, you can't bring the paver to me. Oh, sure I can. And how, I can, I can. You're telling me I can't No, use, you can bring one paver. That's I'm just what saying, I mean. Oh, I just meant the pallet is going to be in a stationary location. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to have enough to throw, but I will eventually grab one of these and run after you. Yeah, that makes more sense. So blunt. You can yeah, blunt yeah, force yeah. This, it. This is just... Maybe you get close and you throw it. Yeah, it, you know, it's kind of like collecting brass knuckles. Them. I'm collecting them, and I'm making a nice path to my home base. <laughs> okay. Very beautiful, because these aren't bricks. These, these are, are pavers. pavers. Yeah. All right, Mike. You have a couple of picks. All right, so I've got my my pole arm, and the device. I I thought Jay, you might just pivot to it, but I will take a hedge trimmer, which is basic a chainsaw, which is basically a chainsaw, but it is used for gardening uh, situations. Mm. And then I'm going to follow that yeah, up. Is, is, so this isn't that is allowed. This mm, was in the I mean, I'm sitting here going, hmm, really? Mm. Oh, okay. I don't well, because because uh, uh, technically, when you go into a garden center, you don't see them there. You have to go into a hardware store to buy it. You never okay. see them outdoors. So I think well, if you're thinking of an outdoor garden center, I think you right, might no, have to omit it. That's I, I can move on. I can it, was, it was also drafted in our, our hardware mm -hmm. store okay. battle. So we don't want and to I'm not over. seeing it on Walmart.com's garden center. Mm -hmm. So I think we're going to overrule that. All right. I think it is. It's, it's, it's literally a chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, but for, for hedges. <laughs> for, for, yeah, for yeah. bushes. No, right, we're going to have to move on. That's fine. I will take... Um, I'm gonna, then I will start here with my aerator spiked shoes. Okay, I know what you're talking about. I, I have no so, idea. Um, yeah, they, they make imagine, those shoes that you imagine cleats, but they're just nails. Yeah, so you can walk through your 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 lawn and aerate it. Okay, I actually I, think that's a real problem for you, Mike. <laughs> yeah, nah, the, you how don't do you want to wear those? I don't nah. think any, I've ever seen anybody walk on non grass with those. Where are we? We're we're in the store. Nah, yeah, we're fighting in the store. All right, well, I'll be on the sod. No, 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 I'm saying if <laughs> I you can't leave, if you do, if you catch us sleeping, yes. and you stand on our bodies, that will be I'm painful. Doing, I'm doing jump kicks, roundhouses. Yeah, maybe you have one on and you hop around. Yeah. <laughs> What's funny is if you aren't on grass, like like cleats. Oh, I will fall when yeah. when I when we played in a flag football league. It always blew my mind how I can't. I could barely walk to the grass field if I was in cleats from the car because I'm like sliding around and I've got no grip on the ground so that that'll be a that'll be a good time for you all right Mike you've all got right. some sliding shoes that's fine I picked roller skates <laughs> oh, I would if I could uh and then so Andy what did you you took the the rocks I took the bag of uh bag of rocks and a shovel okay yeah so then I, I will take the I will take the weed killer then I will take all right I will take yeah. the the pressurized 
uh, so, squirt bottle of poison. Yeah, you're going to have to pump it a little bit, right? Yeah, that's all right. Okay. That's all right. I'll be on the ground yeah, because well, I'll be falling I was going to take lot. it towards the end if it snuck back to me. No. So you get some weed killer. Poison. Now, I don't know how damaging that is. I don't know if you're giving me slowly forming. Face? Well, I just meant like I might get slow formed cancer no, out you, like yeah. 20 no, 40 years from it's, now it's, no it's but you'll that. die a winner of the battle royale maybe nah, you get yeah. that thing in your eyes you're toast i'm sure it can blind a person yeah so well, you're there's gonna... only one way to find out we'll have to do this battle yeah <laughs> all right jason you're back on the clock you have the pressure washer which we'll let you have yeah because we, yeah, uh, we I, already moved past i didn't it. realize that that snuck through <laughs> uh, the same way the others did all right yeah. so i've got the pressure washer uh, we've got a lot of things here I that we he can hurt. I think needs the pressure washer that has the pump. <laughs> I don't think it can be powered. Well, if it if it's powered, then he is. I mean, he's stuck to the wall. If he's if he's powered, he's, a, he bought it in the store. You he know has the to powered have, ones. Have he has a to have really the one where long, you push down. That's yeah. not a pressure washer. I didn't buy a an insecticide. Oh yeah, that's spray an insecticide spray. All right, so yeah, that's what I have. Yeah, um, that is true. Uh, all right, we've got yeah, but he's, we've got eagle, some things. Even with a long cord, like if if there's an entire garden center that I can go around. We're, we could be safe from the pressure washer. Yeah, you can, but eventually you're going to have to come to me. Eventually. No, you're um, going to have to come to me with my shoes. On. I can't make it to you. Yeah, we, we're just going to be on our own islands. <laughs> we, this is the game where you all set up the bases and no one fights each other. Yeah. Get over here, chicken. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be spraying water, but it's just going to be rain. Oh, yeah, that distance your, it will be rain. Spot. <laughs> all right. Uh, we, Stop misting me. We've all got things that can hurt each other. But this is a battle to death. Okay. Eventually, we got to have something that's just like, look, I got to finish the deal. <laughs> oh, this is a killer. This is a kill. This is a this is a murderous device. I'm getting head shears. Yeah, I'm yeah. just getting giant knives. I don't giant know giant scissors. I, I yeah, that that's uh that'll be some work still. <laughs> oh yeah, but yeah. Well, it's stabby. Yeah. Oh yeah, stabby. No, they're yeah. good. Hedging shears is good. They're I, very stabby. Uh, they're stabby <laughs> and cutty. So I look my last two picks. Um, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take some garden netting. Oh, okay, I'm gonna take some okay. garden netting. Uh, I feel like set a trap. Traps, set yeah. some traps, and then I'm gonna my last resort here after the garden netting. Look, maybe I want to see you two kind of battle it out before I emerge to take on the winner. And that's why I'm drafting a wheelbarrow. I'm getting underneath it. I'm gonna tur oh, I'm turtling up. You're I'm turtling underneath oh, the wheelbarrow. Upside down. Oh yeah. It's upside down. I'm under okay. the wheelbarrow. I'm gonna I'm going to quick as I can put one paper at a time. <laughs> I'm gonna trap you under there and I'm gonna starve you out. You put, my pallet of you're papers. You're putting the papers on top of my wheelbarrow. Yes. No. I'll yes. see you in two days. I can't lift it. <laughs> that's right. Lift a pallet of pavers. No. Turtle. That, <laughs> Die, turtle. That is the perfect scenario. You can go for a long walk with each paver and set them on my, yeah. on, on top of and my. And you think you're uh, being so clever. And my turtle you're shell. Like, Let me see if one of them is dead. Are you guys still fighting out there? <laughs> guys? Yeah. Guys? All right. So guys? Andy's a skeleton. I can also move bodies off the battlefield easier. That's true. With That's the wheelbarrow. True. And you can just have a lot of fun. <laughs> Wheelbarrows yeah. are yeah. a ton of fun. Um, was that your, your, that's done? it. I'm done. <laughs> All right. Shovel bag of rocks, garden netting for traps and a wheelbarrow to hide under. Great. Um, I'm, I, I'm surprised this made it this long. I, I probably should have taken it earlier myself because I think your shovel's a good pick. Yeah. I really do. Oh, there's a, yeah. But there's a better version of like for a fight of a similar product. And that is the metal rake. The, the rock rake. Uh, okay. The rock rake is pretty great. Because now I've got, uh, I, I've got it's more not as weighty. impalers. Yeah, you got impalers. And, you know, spikes at the end of this thing. This is my spear. My spear is just curved at the end. <laughs> <laughs> sure. So I will take the metal rake. Okay. All right. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. So is that my last But pick? you do have a risk because if you set it. Up against the wall, yeah, and you step on it the wrong way, right? You could hit yourself in the you face. Never want to. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that is. It's, it's a, a risk. Huge, it's, it's a, a risk. huge risk. I'm uh, willing to Mike take. finally walks all the way over to you, yeah. and that rake is sitting there, <laughs> and he steps on it with his aerator shoes. All right, one final all pick, right. Mike. Uh, I'm gonna keep my bio warfare going, and I just need something that I can toss, like a uh, like some pocket sand, toss in your face. Except it's poop, boys. I'm, oh. taking, I'm taking some fertilizer. Yeah. You're going to die all stinky. <laughs> <laughs> all 
All right, so you're going to throw some manure on us. <laughs> That's right. Or trick us into, like, you get back. I'll give you bags of maneuver, as, as many as you want. Oh, perfect. So you can build them up <laughs> like sandbags, but oh. you're all, but then your base is stinky? Yeah. Uh, stinky yeah. base. <laughs> also, when, right. you, when you throw it at us, realize that you don't have you have points. to hold. Yeah, yeah, you have to yeah. hold it. No, I, I understand. All, all right, all dying stinky. Uh, Jason has a pressure washer that he got away with. Uh, pallet of pavers, hedging shears, and gravel rake. Mike has a tree pruner, air ride, air raider, spike shoes, a weed killer <laughs> sprayer, and a bag of manure. I've got a shovel, some rocks, garden netting, and a wheelbarrow. I have one that I really wish I would have taken. One honorable mention that I had at the top of my list, and I just kind of forgot to use. Which was tiki torches. Ah, uh, yeah, ah. it's on. It's it's on my list as well. So having the fine, you know, some improvised. It's 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 a club, and they sell metal ones. Yeah, and but it would also like it, there'd be fire. Yeah, and I don't know if that manure lights on fire, but we could give it a shot. We, um, I don't. Know, it won't light, but it'll blow up. Okay, if you get some get enough detonation going on. I had a a thing called a tamper. Oh what? yeah, the the flat oh, bottom, yeah, yeah. the flat yeah. bottom thing. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know what it was it, called. It, it's the level ground down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, trellises maybe as barricades. <laughs> Some okay. sort of uh, All right. got a hose. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you yeah. Know, use it as a whip or a noose. Oh, sure. oh yeah. yeah, dangerous. Um, or help connect my, you know, my pressure washer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It will lose pressure. There you go. Um, yeah. Let us know if we forgot anything. I think we did pretty good. I don't know if I'm gonna be surviving this one but i'm pretty confident i win this fight i think jason wins it because he stole something from the hardware store <laughs> what did we learn today oh i learned what a tamper is <laughs> i learned that uh, apparently not every actor makes a lot of money and i relearned my hatred for dirty toothpaste yeah you did mm. we learned that about you yeah that you're very passionate Pass it Squeeze it the right way is what you've always said. And cap it. That is today's show. Thank you for listening. Goodbye. Thanks for listening to the Spitballers podcast. To see what other nonsense the guys are up to, check out spitballerspod.com.